Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we react to it. Jessica. Guys, we'll be reacting to Mufti Max saying we came from monkeys. Guys, let's go straight into this. One day there was a man, he was sitting with me on an aircraft. He told me, do you believe in evolution? I told him, what's that? Trust me, even he did not know. <laughs> he didn't know. He told me, we are from apes. I said, I'm from Adam. Maybe you're from the ape. <laughs> huh? I am from Adam. Maybe you're from the ape. Subhanallah. So he said, no, no, no. We are from apes. I said, so why are there still apes on earth? It's a question. And why the apes on earth are not changing to man? By now, should be no more apes. Anyway, that discussion ended in a nice way, in a very beautiful way. And what we agreed is we have to also respect those apes. Not because they are his grandfathers, but, <laughs> but because it's a creation of Allah. Human beings, we are part of one family. Human beings are part of one family, no matter what. There are so many connections between you and me, right? The first original connection is the fact that you are the children of Adam. Now this would include Muslim, non-Muslim, no matter where you are, no matter how you think, how close or far you are from Allah, the sinful, the not so sinful, those who are very sinful, all of those, no matter who you are, I have to acknowledge we are from Adam and we are created by Allah from the dust, the soil and so on. And Hawa is our mother and so on. I have to agree. So there is a connection. If there is a connection, even if I do not like what you are doing or even if I disagree with you I need to offer you minimum respect because if I'm a Muslim for example I have discovered Allah and I worship my maker alone I need to love that goodness for everyone else and I will not be able to communicate that goodness with other people if I don't have a connection or any respect between me and them how can I convey the message I have, if I have no respect for anyone, no, my brother, carry yourself with respect, continue. If you disagree, you disagree. I can disagree with you very strongly. Like this brother who was telling me about apes. I disagree very strongly, but we made a joke about it. We laughed and he started to laugh and so on. I told him, I see this and it went on quite a bit. But end of the day, I managed to get my word in. You understand what I'm saying? Why? Because we respect. I didn't say, oh, you know, no swearing, no abuse, no matter who they are. A believer does not say swear words with his or her mouth. A believer does not utter falsehoods, does not hurt people. Intentionally, you are swearing, abusing. You are not allowed to do it even with those who are far away. Allah says, وَلَا تَسُبُّ الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ don't mock at or joke about or abuse those who are worshipping deities and gods besides Allah because then they will also have a reaction and they will start to abuse and mock and joke about Allah without knowledge. Subhanallah Rabbil Alameen. I feel Mufti Make is one of the best Islam. I, 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 I use the word preacher now because I feel he is one of the people I know that talk based on logic. Like, I feel he has sense. Yes, he is very logical and he does not actually come after people's religion. He actually talk, actually sticks with his own religion mm -hmm. and tell you things about the Quran. I, I once said it before that if there was anyone that would actually push me to Islam, it will be him because I feel he's one of the people that I know that's why you talk based on the book, not attacking Christians or mm. like he promotes kind of peace and harmony. What yeah, do you think yeah, about so this? He talks based on probably things he has experienced before and yeah. based on facts too. And he also made a point like as believers, be it Christian, be it Muslim, anybody, I don't feel it's not right for you to like mock other people's religion or his own people because then it makes other because he said it that he now makes other people from other religion now mock Islam, not knowing Allah Jesus, and yeah. that is like so I, I don't know, but I feel 
it's not a good thing because you not knowing how my God works or how my religion is, you not knowing the power my God holds, then you come in to mock my religion and stuff like that. So I feel like people should not just mock other people's religion, just stay in your lane. <laughs> not really sure, but me, I, I personally feel you should get the word out there, like, like the way he said, the way he pushed in. I came from Adam, like he pushed in his religion a bit to it, but he's not forcing it. But mm-hmm. like the person gets the message he was trying to tell him. But guys, so what do you think about the video? Just like, just got our channel. We we'll see you next time, guys. Peace.